Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. And yes, we're going to be talking and we're going to be shading people and we're going to be drinking the shady punch. Honey, yes. Why are you telling my business? Okay. Because I can, can, and I can, can, I can, can, I can, can, and I will. Yes, Lord, I'm back in full effect. Honey, I let it be known. <laughs> I let the streets be a little dry before I got back on the tube to bring this hot mess to you and to me. And for all the people that's in the back supporting this mess of a farce of a relationship. Okay? Let me speak loud and proud for the people in the back. Okay? If you're sitting condoning this bullshit because you're really, really, really Portia's fans. Y'all her day ones. Y'all think she's happy in that situation she's in currently. Cheers to you. And I got to say, boo boo. Sit your ass down. Okay? Sit down and don't say nothing else. Okay? Because we ain't cheering. We ain't doing nothing. But try to bring some clarification to Portia. Now, Portia, I don't know if this is true or not. We're going to play this allegedly. But I heard in them YouTube streets that Simon gave you a contingency plan. Meaning, if you don't get back... On the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Or get a spinoff again. He gone. The contingent was. That you all get on. And stay on. The Real Housewives of Atlanta. And he would marry you. Girl. I'm up here to say. Dump his fat ass. Okay. Dump his fat ass. Ass. Because if he cared anything about you, if he really thought you were his queen, okay, he wouldn't have had you out there looking like a fool when you was in that bar drinking and sliding up on him and all that on his belly. One on his private part if you get my drill, trying to get somebody into the mood. And then you fell on the floor. Now, how thirsty can you be? How thirsty can you be not how low can you go how how low can you go not that but how thirsty are we these days now he took you to his motherland where he was born and raised and he gave you a chance to meet his mother and they gave you some celebration and you thought you were gonna be queen girl you were queen for that day but you're not the queen in his eye because tell me tell me i want to know why you two women, meaning you and your elderly sister, Nene, can't seem to get it right. And why all of a sudden y'all running for African men? You know, you were just dating American black men. What is it, girl? What is it? Because they still treating both of y'all like has-beens. All right, you're supporting them, but they're not supporting you all. <coughs> now, you tell me. Look at these pictures. <coughs> that I'm going to have flash into the video that I am speaking on. Yes, these are pictures of Simon. Once again, entertaining a young lady past his age. Okay. That he shouldn't even, well, to, to age, well, when, what I can say. He's out age to an ascent. Okay, he fought the time. But he loves, he loves these younger women. And I don't know what the fascination about him wanting to be seen on a reality show. And a ratchet reality show as it be as its best. You see what I'm saying? Ain't nothing popping on Real Housewives of Atlanta. At least from season 13 on the way into its induction. It ain't never been, been some true mess. Okay? Mess. That's why Kim said, uh-uh, I'm going to give y'all a few more years. Then I'm going to need my spin off. Because I ain't finna stay a part of this ratchet mess. And that's what the streets are saying out there. And them YouTube streets are telling me, allegedly, that Simon said to Portia that... Our wedding is contingent upon you getting back on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And if you don't get back on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, then we're going to stay where we are. Which just glorified boyfriend and girlfriend with the fiancés attached. Okay? And you tell me, Simon married Fallon before she was on Real Housewives of Atlanta. 
she was cruising with him schmoozing with whatever big folks that he was calling himself accustomed to being around but yes he was spoiling the hell out of her now why is it that he can wife Fallon but he can't wife Portia he could wife Fallon without being on a reality show because she wasn't on a rea reality show at the time he married her but he can't marry Portia so one could think out of one or two ways this is just a farce of a relationship or Simon don't want to be bothered with Big Head over there. Okay? The reason why I call her Big Head because I'm tired of looking at her as a loser. I am tired of her feeling like she got to have a man or she's not important in this world. I'm tired of her not being a mother to her child in these formative years where she should be posting and doing more motherly things then she should be chasing this man here there and everywhere and as you can see he looks very nice in his little blazers his little suits and i'm pretty sure fallon didn't buy them he bought them himself so why in the hell was portia buying him five days worth of business suits when you could show he has some clothing okay he's not always seen in the casual look but doesn't that picture look familiar i can tell you why because portia took one like that all right and these are are they fallon kids y'all i'm kind of confused are they uh a, a bit of um Simon's kid too. Y'all let me know about that one. But see that's classy. That's classy all day long. You don't have to show every asset of your body. Like Portia does. Cover it up sometime. Look classy. Look like you got some oomph mm about yourself. That you were made bread from money. Okay. Reared in money. He gave Portia. I mean he gave Fallon that whole luxurious life. And wifed her. But. And let me say that again. He wifed her. All right. Now, how the demise of their marriage ended, you know, we have two or three different ways we can look at it. She was fooling around, he was fooling around, and, and a baby came out of one of them. They got divorced, and now he with Portia, but Portia was supposed to have been dating him while they were still married. You know, we don't know until Fallon brings out her all tell our book. You see what I'm saying? But right now, I see you, Portia. And I'm going to say it again for the people that's in the back. That's supporting you. And don't see nothing that you're doing out in these streets. Henceforth, going forward, that you need to be talked to. You need to be chastised. Because this man took you to his hometown. Still ain't wifed you. Okay, we done had your special. Total train wreck. It crashed and burned. He still ain't wifed you. Okay. I heard you was over there knocking on Bravo's door, your PR people, about you and Dirty Simon trying to get a wedding special. Now, if he can wife Fallon and make it a small event but tasteful, why the hell can't he marry you? Why does he need to have it all for the TV and the cameras? Okay? We weren't impressed with him when he was on Real Housewives of Atlanta. When he was showcasing himself as being Fallon's husband. We weren't impressed. We could care less. Okay. It just is what it is. He sold you a dream that did not come true. He sold you a dream that you were going to be his queen. He's going to treat you like royalty. Okay. And we wanted to say cheers, bottoms up or whatever. But we don't want you. To jump into this relationship of a farce and a marriage. Because we already see if he couldn't keep Fallon entertained. Okay. How the hell he going to keep you entertained, Portia? You're vibrant. You're beautiful. You're on the go. You're on the go all the time. Want to do stuff. And we've seen he wasn't with you on a couple of occasions that he could have been by your side. But here we go again. You're always trending in the news on somebody getting off on you. Now, Portia took a similar picture to that. They married. You see her married band? Yes. 
You see, she got style and grace, style and class, doing the darn thing, covering her ass. But we can't say the same thing for Portia. Her ass always out. And the tits. Okay? Now, see, why Portia can't wear no, um, what do you call it, swimsuit like that? Why I got all be cut off and all that kind of stuff? But this itch, ninja, he married her. Floss with her. Loved her. Okay? They divorced. <coughs> but... She kept some gauze that he gave her while Portia running around here on empty. Okay, looking all desperate. And I keep asking myself, hmm, is Portia taken or is she single? I'm going to go with the single and still trying to mingle situation. Because she may have a ring on her finger, but she is not. Acting like a fiance. She ain't acting like hell. She she want to be married half the time. She out there strutting her stuff. For any other billionaire. Millionaire. To look her way. And then she gone. She would drop Simon in a heartbeat. But Portia's too prideful. She don't want to come out and say. This shit ain't working. This ain't working. Okay. It ain't working. I'm spending more of my money on this eager than he's spending on me. And I was like, Portia, you right. You right, girl. What you going to do about it? What you going to do? Okay, what you going to do? Because the streets say it. He ain't marrying you unless you get back on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. But he gave this young lady a big-ass mansion to live in. Cars to flung around. He married her. Wanted to have a baby by her. Don't know what happened with that. I really don't know. But, you see, wasn't that a cute blazer? He kind of looked like a little millionaire running around now. But Portia sitting up there buying him five business suits for that eagle. Okay? Shut your mouth. Ooh. Child. Then what happened to that wine room? He don't have it no more? Because he showed sure flossing with his wife. Loving up on her smooch. He's getting the same smooches to Portia. I know y'all don't saw him smooch up on her. I just want to give y'all some aesthetics, some optics to show that that man, he treated her like a wife. He treated Portia like a hoe. Go figure. See that wedding band? He married her. He waiting on Portia. And why should he marry her? He getting everything that he got from Fallon. The wifely duties and the wifely nightly duties. But Fallon had sense. She said, I ain't finna be no uh, caregiver to this old ass man. I'm not finna be the creep keeper. Creep keep keeper. I'm not gonna do it. Well, like I just thought I'd just share this with y'all, honey. I heard it. I don't know how true it is. But they said, Simon so ain't gonna marry her unless he gets back on that show. That's the contingency. That's the, uh, the negotiation. So, when she was sitting there saying that her family had told her they had a date in mind and they got it set and it's in stone, but they ain't let the public know yet. Girl, go sit yourself down, you and your family, okay? Because you don't need to be tied up with Dirty Simon. You don't need to be dressed up with Simon. You don't, your name don't need to be Garbadia, okay? Simon. Because that man just likes to trick, trick, and trick. Okay? And he don't trick the hell out you. He don't make you his itch. Okay? He be saying, this itch got me paying for rent, paying for trips, diamonds on her neck, diamonds on her wrist. And I don't see none of that. I don't see no diamonds on your wrist, no diamonds on your neck. That's dirty, dirty Simon for you. He go all uh, wife and, 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 and uh, dress up other women but he can't do the same thing with Portia he can't marry her why not is the marriage not legal is your divorce not legal yet I'm pretty sure Fallon will be trying to move on and that she did get that divorce from you so if it's not that why haven't Portia he married you what's the wait what's, what's the hold up so it must be something true to this alleged rumor out here that depending on when y'all gonna get married is depending on when you're gonna get back on that show or any reality show. That's what's trending on your ass, Portia. And I'll be like, I'll be cutting that ninja, put him outside his own house that he bought. 
that he said he bought for us, but my name ain't on it. Damn, that reminds me. Didn't that same shit happen to you and Cordell when y'all were married? Girl. It's dreadful in my Dwight's voice. It is so dreadful. But that's all I got for this video, guys. That's the room out there now. That Simon ain't gonna marry Portia unless she get back on the uh the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And I'm like, damn, is that's why uh Portia keep knocking at Bravo's door and Bravo keeps saying, Keep a knocking but you can't come in. Keep a knocking but you can't come in. Go to bed and do it again. Keep a knocking, but you can't come in. Girl, Lord have mercy. Drop that ninja as quick as you want to get rid of, uh, 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 what do you call it, a venereal disease that's curable. Okay, treat them like you got gon gonna real, and you need that antibiotic. Okay, I'm being messy. I know, I know, but it's like, I don't know how else to talk to you, but just, you know, just to the chase okay no, nothing in the uh uh coke i'm trying to serve you or the wine or vodka or whatever the hennessy you like the brown liquor too i'm just trying to serve you up a nice shot of hennessy with no chase involved so you could come back to a sense of reality and a sense of thinking portion stop being thirsty stop being that thirst bucket out there look listen and learn baby girl if he can marry fallon wife her up Give her all the amenities uh, she needs and, and the comfort of a lifestyle she definitely has uh, grown accustomed to. Why the hell you don't want the same thing for yourself? Okay? And then get down with father time that's going to be wearing the pins lately. You know, he's going to urine going to be going out and on and out and on. He ain't going to be wearing no drawers no more. Mm -mm, he's going to be wearing the pins. Okay? Then he might need his souped up scooter that he going to need you to be by him in case he fall out. And he might need you to hold him up steady. Is this something? He don't need the bed rail for the bed. You're going to have to have rails up. Hell, he might have, can't even sleep in the bed no more. He might have, a, have to have a hospital bed. Are you ready for all that Porsche? Hell, you can't even be there for PJ half the time. And you think you're going to be there as a caregiver for Simon? Are you kidding me, girl? At 40 years old? Child. But that's all I got for this video, guys. I got plenty more to come. So make sure y'all stay tuned. Turn on your, your notification bells. Or uh, uh, click your notification on your phone so you'll know when I upload new and improved videos. Where you know what I'm going to be talking about. Because that's all I talk about. Okay? That's what some people say. That's what people in the back be saying. You know, I need to get out Porsche. Let Porsche leave her life. Da, 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 da. No! We need more people like me on the tube. That can get Portia's reaction and tell her, since her mama don't want to tell her, what's the, the, the God honest truth, okay? Don't let no man make no fool out you. Make a fool out yourself if you want to, but don't let no man make a fool out you. Don't let him take your collateral, your money, your revenue, and then bounce on to the next victim. Don't let him do that, okay? Know that side. Know thyself. Know thyself. Talking about you ready to move. And then he moved all right. But he didn't move your name onto them papers, girl. Allegedly. All right. But I'll see y'all next video. Bye. -bye.